Life is important. Life is precious. I value life very much. Being successful, you know, because that's the goal of every college student. Learn from this life. Uh, what I did, I learned from it. What I made, uh, I documented. Uh, keep people happy as long as I am in, in, a, in a major that keep me in touch with the people. Family, friends, and future. Family is important to me. Ethnic identity is important to me. family is important to me and I guess just doing something I love for a career. Two beautiful girls and a beautiful wife and with that I'm able to do all the things that I'm able to do. People are important to me because everyone has a story, everyone is different and I think that hearing people's stories and that's why I became a journalist is because I want to hear people's stories and I want to tell them. And so I think people are important to me. When I hear the word family, I, I think of a huge support mechanism. I think of gatherings that around a table uh, uh, that allows family to understand who they are and where they come from. So I'd say definitely that I'm blessed with my family. For me personally, it means uh, my wife and son, my parents and brother and siblings, and also my wife's family. My idea of family is like, you know, the stereotypical nuclear family, like two parents, you know, couple, couple brothers, couple sisters. Love. It means everything. You work from eight to five, and then when you're back home, you're exhausted, tired. However, once you see your wife and your kids, everything disappears. This is the family life. They are my second family. They're the people who I can trust, uh, who I can depend on if I need it, if I need it to. I think if you were to have a room filled with my friends, you would find that they were all very different. So I like to have a diversity of friends. That's very important to me. Different, because I feel like a lot of my friends are just so different from me personality-wise. Camaraderie, definitely um, just a feeling that I get when I'm with my friends. An individual who is connected to you on numerous levels, personal, uh, obviously social, but more importantly, you know, spiritually, they know you, they understand you. They can almost look at you and know there's something wrong. Scary, <laughs> because it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen. The future is simply comprised of the existing, the current, a little bit of the past is those are the ingredients and then putting it all together to hopefully make it a better tomorrow. I do have a concern for the future of the country right now. So, for example, health care. I don't know if I'm going to have my health care next year. You know, that's 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 a big concern of mine about about the future. But I think if you want to if you want to see the new future is traveling a lot, you will see the future. Get, getting away of your environment, finding a new places, a new culture, this is a future for you. Future is a knowledge. Everyone has a bright future. Your future is what you make it. Future, when I think of the word future, I think of the legacy and the responsibility we have to uh, leave a future that is uh, the best it can be for those who follow us. It's mean nothing. As long as you're confident with yourself, it's mean nothing to me. 
fear is a part of us. We have to acknowledge it, but I don't think, again, we can diminish it. Debts or failures or not living up to someone's standards. When I think of the word fear, I, I think of um, in, imposed ideas, imposed um, uh, thoughts from other people. Anxiety. Because <laughs> I have anxiety, and I know it makes me very fearful about a lot of stuff, so. Not being able to provide the same level of la lifestyle that we have now. Fear is something that's necessary to keep you alive. A little bit of fear is good, but it's like anything else. Too much fear can cause you to hurt yourself or others, and too little fear can cause yourself to get hurt or kill others. Fear, I think, is different for everybody. It depends on who you are, where you live, how you were raised, and I think that we need to understand that people are different from us. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but we need to understand it. Hate is the seed uh, that uh, has germinated from lack of understanding. I think when people understand each other, hate becomes less of an issue. Hate, first word that popped in my head was Trump. Um, you know, the, the phrase, love trumps hate, and I really hope that it will eventually. Hate or hatred, in my opinion, is a disease of the mind. It's when you take it upon yourself to not like, dislike someone or something that doesn't look or share your values. I don't ex it doesn't exist in my dictionary. A lot of people, I think, use it and can't back it up while they're using it. And um, it has a very negative connotation and a very strong connotation to it. Judging others without knowing, whether it's uh, uh, because of ethnicity or color or race or whatever, whatever the person is judging for, that's hate. I think of my grandmother. I was just on my fo on the phone with my grandmother the other day, and I probably told her that I loved her a hundred times, just because she's not doing too well, and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to tell her that again. And um, my two best friends, they actually lost their grandmothers within two months of each other, um, our freshman year. And um, since that day, or since that time, I've made it apparent to tell my grandmother that I love her so much. So I would associate that probably the most with my grandmother. Family. <laughs> I think it's more important that uh, uh, people act the love as opposed to say the love. Love is a beautiful thing. Love is something that we all live for. Love is something we yearn for, for as humans. Love is survivability. Love is a powerful thing, and we need that. It's the most powerful, powerful emotion that a human being has. I don't really think of hope because it's like this one like out there concept that like no matter what happens everything's going to work out sort of thing and I don't know I think I'm more of like if you put the time and effort into something things will work out because you care about it it's not like one of those things where you just sit there and just you know hope in this like the word just like kind of sit there and wish everything's going to work out okay for the end because I'm sorry, that's not how the world works. If you want something to work out for you, you gotta put the time in to do it. It depends if you are positive or negative. If you are positive, hope means a lot. Hope will create a lot of think, will be in reality. If you be negative, hope will never, never come. I think everybody should have some hope for change. You hope that you're a better person uh, at age 60 than you are at age 20 because of life lessons, because of that. And I think that there's hope to that, you know. I mean, there's hope that uh, uh, someday I'll be retired and I can do what I want to do, not what I have to do. It's just dreams. I think I have a lot of dreams that I really hope that will come true. Glimmer because there's always a glimmer of hope. Um, 
there's definitely hope, I think, for our country, the United States currently, and I think there's a glimmer of hope for the world. Um, there's definitely people in the world that want to band together, and then there's a glimmer of hope just for everybody. I think there's hope inside every single person on this planet. Hope is all we have because we have no control over anything in this life. Hope is what gives us the perseverance to continue to do the things we do, not knowing what the outcome may really be. Hope gives you grit or tenacity. Hope is what gives us that spark. It's the engine that keeps us going. That's what hope is. It's, it's the light and the end of the tunnel, in a way. So uh, whenever you go uh, in, in any trouble or any, 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 let's say, dark times, then the light at the end of the tunnel is, is your hope, your future, or getting out of this darkness. My name, uh, Nadine, in French means hope. So I am, I'm aware that my mother named me that with the intention of, of, of putting that energy out in the world. And I just hope I can carry that feeling and just be that for myself and for other people.